there all Ariana. of my hair when I was 15 years September is alopecia oh, awareness hair month hair alopecia areata is an autoimmune disease that causes people to lose their hair and it came into a bigger spotlight after actress Jada Pinka Smith's diagnosis but now there's a campaign in Denver called reflections of alopecia areata where women from Denver are sharing their experiences with the disease and to talk more about this joining us this afternoon um, sir Supriya. Supriya, yes. That's such a beautiful name. <laughs> Supriya Surrender. Uh, you're just a huge part of this campaign, really reaching out to women, I think, who, who need uh, help and need that boost of confidence in their time of need. So just start um, telling us your experience. How were you diagnosed and how did you get to this place where you're helping others? Sure. Well, first, thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here in partnership with Pfizer and Reflections of Alopecia Areata. But I was diagnosed in 2013. I was in a fitting room and I saw a bald spot on the back of my head and I was of course shocked to see it. Mm -hmm. And I went to the dermatologist and I got my diagnosis for alopecia areata. Fast forward two years from that, um, I was getting ready for work one day and I noticed a large pile of hair in my hands and that one pile turned into one pile after another. And in a three month time span, I lost all of my hair. And then I became the bald woman that you're seeing right now in front of you. And you're so beautiful and confident in your own skin. I mean, it's gorgeous to see, but I imagine it wasn't always that easy. How did you get to a space to where you're comfortable being the beautiful person that you are, but not you know, wearing wigs or doing other things? It was a journey mm -hmm. to get here because it is such a jarring feeling to witness your physical identity disappear one strand of hair at a time. And so I had one face for 32 years of my life. And then all of a sudden one day I was looking in the mirror and my face became a stranger because of this disease. So it took a lot of work and a long time, but I've really connected with this community. The alopecia areata community is simply incredible. And they just inspired me to push myself outside of my comfort zone and start living my best life. And I've started sharing my story and here I am. And you're so inspired, you're an inspiration to me. I know you've got to be to so many people in your own community. Talk to us a little bit uh, about the campaign itself and how you're reaching out to women in their time of need. Yeah, so the campaign is me and one of my inspirations, Kat, Kylie Bamberger, and we are sharing our story on this platform. And on this reflections of alopeciaareata.com, you can also find resources. So if you're going through the disease, you know, for me early on, I remember just Googling endlessly for resources. So this is a one step shop where you can find these resources and also connect with the community. If you, before you go, if you could just have one piece of advice or just one thing to say to really touch someone who maybe is going, you remember what that was like back in 2013 for you. Yes. Someone who's in that space right now. Yes. My biggest piece of advice is I know it feels so dark and lonely, but there's a light at the end of that tunnel. And I, even if you can't see it for yourself, I can see it for you. Mm -hmm. This community can see it for you and you deserve to live your best life. No matter how hard it feels in this moment, you're going to get there. That is incredible. <laughs> Thank you. I think yes. you really reached people with that. And there's more information on our website about this campaign. Thank you for being brave and strong and beautiful in your own skin. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Sapria. Yeah.